Terrorism is a global evolving threat and no country can tackle it alone. The United Nations Counterterrorism Center, UNCCT, was established in 2011 with a significant contribution of the government of Saudi Arabia to support member states in countering terrorism and preventing violent extremism when conducive to terrorism. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is proud to be the founding and main donor of the United Nations Counterterrorism Center. Only by coming together within the global community can we defeat terrorism. The United Nations Counterterrorism Center Advisory Board provides strategic guidance and ensures that the center remains responsive to the needs of member states. As terrorist methods and threats evolve, the United Nations Center for Counterterrorism will therefore also evolve in the coming years. And as chairman of the advisory board, I look forward to support the strengthening of UNCCT as a center of excellence. The original Saudi contribution has had a multiplier effect over the years, attracting an increasing number of donors committed to working together to support UNCCT efforts to help member states implement the four pillars of United Nations global counterterrorism strategy. The result? Stronger international cooperation to fight terrorism. Nigeria has had a long standing and positive relationship with the UNCCT since its establishment. We've worked closely together on key issues such as aviation security, border security and management, promoting peace and education, strengthening criminal justice capacity to counter terrorism, training and capacity building of law enforcement officials on human rights, the rule of law and the prevention of terrorism, and terrorist use of nuclear materials. In all of these projects, UNCCT has worked closely with my country and honorable parts of the United Nations system to deliver sound results. We look forward to the continued good cooperation with UNCCT in the next years in our common fight against the scourge of terrorism. UNCCT is supporting member states and regional organizations by promoting international cooperation and providing capacity building assistance in areas such as countering the financing of terrorism, developing strategies to counter terrorism and preventing violent extremism, promoting human rights while countering terrorism, addressing cybersecurity, foreign terrorist fighters, CBRN, border security, and terrorist travel. In June 2017, through General Assembly Resolution 71-291, UNCCT became part of the new United Nations Office of Counterterrorism, UNOCT, led by Under Secretary General Mr. Vladimir Voronkov. Since its establishment, UNCCT has provided extensive and impactful counterterrorism assistance to member states at their request. As executive director of UNCCT, I am committed to ensuring its continued development as a center of excellence that member states can draw on for world-class and cutting-edge expertise in their efforts to prevent and counter terrorism. The establishment of UNOCT was part of the Secretary General's reform of the UN peace and security architecture. The goal was to enhance the global efforts to counter terrorism through an all of UN approach led by UNOCT under the umbrella of the Global Counter Terrorism Coordination Compact, counting more than 40 entities. Through its location within UNOCT, UNCCT has greatly benefited from this reform. Member states have strongly supported the reform, and as a result, the UN Counterterrorism Center has continued to expand its partnerships and increase its donor base. Terrorism is a phenomenon that affects all countries, and internationally it goes beyond borders, and international cooperation is therefore vital in addressing it. And here, the European Union and the UN uh, Office for Counterterrorism are key partners. We work closely with the Counterterrorism Center on capacity building programs throughout the world in areas such as preventing violent extremism, addressing the threat of nuclear terrorism, and tackling radicalization in prisons. By strengthening uh, this partnership with the United Nations and working with civil society, we're jointly contributing to deliver real results and concrete impact on the ground. 
Since it became operational in 2012, the UN Counterterrorism Center has seen a continuous and significant expansion in its work. By 2018, the center had supported member states with more than 80 programs and projects at the global, regional, and national level. Today, it continues to expand to meet the growing demands for counterterrorism technical assistance. In Central Asia, UNCCT collaborated with United Nations Regional Center for Central Asia, UNRCCA, on the development and the implementation of the Joint Plan of Action of the United Nations Global Counterterrorism Strategy for the region. The United Nations Regional Center for Preventive Diplomacy for Central Asia has a close working relationship with the Counterterrorism Center of the United Nations Office for Counterterrorism. Since 2011, we have been conducting a wide range of capacity building activities with the five Central Asian states in such areas as border management and border security, countering the financing of terrorism and money laundering, the role of media, religious leaders, and the root causes of uh, threats and challenges to the security of the Central Asian states in the field of terrorism and extremism. These activities have contributed to improved professional skills to combat such threats. Uh, but they also led to increased interaction, cooperation, and trust among the Central Asian states, the regional partner organizations, and the United Nations. The Center promotes a holistic, all-of-society approach and encourages the participation of civil society, youth, and women in the global efforts to counter terrorism and prevent violent extremism. Supporting victims of terrorism is also at the heart of UNCCT's work. Since the attack in Jakarta happened in 2004, I have been a strong advocate for victims of terrorism. I am proud to be collaborating with the United Nations Center for Counterterrorism in its work related to the victims. The UN Society Good Practices Handbook to Assist Victims Associations in Asia Pacific which I am helping to develop. It's important as it will provide guidance to promote victims' rights and to better support and care for their needs. Constantly evolving, the terrorism threat requires even more innovative and cutting-edge solutions. Benefiting from the guidance of its 22 advisory board members, UNCCT strives to develop as a center of excellence, providing global good practice to help member states address and counter the threat of terrorism and violent extremism. The center will also continue to provide well-coordinated counterterrorism capacity building assistance that allows states to implement the global counterterrorism strategy in a balanced manner. In that context, the United Nations Counterterrorism Center has also stepped up its efforts to meet the growing expectations and demands from countries most affected by terrorism. I'm grateful to Ambassador Al Mualimi of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for his able chairmanship of the Center's advisory board. Let us all pledge to continue to work together in pragmatic and innovative ways to address serious threats to international peace and security. Thank you.